Whoa. Whoa. As I said, that's what I wanted. This has got some curry or my drags on too loose. Bubble line right there in the water. I'm going to be starting off using some lures. Um, welcome back, by the way. I'm very happy. It took me about 40 minutes to get here. Come and finish work, had dinner. We well, came here last night, we came here too dark, put a cup of tail. Anyway, enough gibberish. Let's do it. Right, right. So I'm just going to use one of these metal slices. This one here's a 40 gram Halco. They do good, the wind is against me. No, I need something a bit heavy. I'll snap it on. Mate, I've never been so excited in my life. I mean, I get so excited always when I come fishing. But, I don't know, I'm just at the prime time. And, um, no one's here. It's a secret spot. So, I'm not going to share this spot. I had a local here last night saying, do not share it. You guys probably worked it out where it is. And, uh, Let's get it on. Right. So then you take too long at all. Oh. Oh. Beautiful quite deep. Nothing up around here. Pretty dumps. Oh. That was a nice one. That was a nice one. Look at that. Lovely. First cast. I knew it. Beautiful. Absolutely. Dull of a fish. Right oh. oh, Hey. Love it. This size, I reckon. I'm going to measure them up. Let's get another one. Okay. So I'm going to wear the camera this time because the uh, the bite, I reckon, is going to be pretty pretty fast. And it usually goes dead when it gets dark. I've got some some bait which I'll be using later on. But the way things are going here, I think I'll be pretty well right. So with that 40 gram, I am casting out a bit fair distance. So it's a matter of just trying to work the water. Oh, there you go. Hit, hit. Oh, good one too. Whoa, taking a bit of line. And he's moving around the place. Good size. Yeah. On light tackle, it's just great fun. I mean, I don't used to go for big fish. I'm not that... I mean, now I love to do, to do it, but if you if you go for a medium-sized fish with medium-sized tackle, I reckon you got a lot more fun. There you go. Let's see if I can land him without losing him. Oh, and he came off. Bugger. Bugger. Oh, well, that happens. Okay. So, one again. Trying not to lose this one, so I'm going to be a bit more aggressive. Yeah, at the end of the day, we're here to fish and not to... I mean, yeah, catch and release is great, but I want to oh, bring him up to the surface. Here we go. Let's see if he's going to come to, to the party. And that's an old, another one. Another nice one. Not as big as the other one. Still, lovely specimen. Oop, he's off. That's what we got here. Right, so he's a bit more smaller. We just um, put the measure him up. Put these scales here. So that's that there. Yep. So he's um he's 31. Um beautiful. A little bit clean. Look at that. Keep him nice and edible. Always bleed your fish. Alright. It's humane because they die quickly and um it tastes a lot better when you cook it up. So I've only been here for about five minutes. 
probably taken me more time to get here than it has to catch those two fish. Well, I had three, one came off. So at least if I can get another one before it gets dark. And unfortunately, I haven't got much tape left. Okay, so you can hear the reel going off. A bit more smaller, this one. A bit more smaller, but still. <laughs> Always exciting catching Taylor on a lure. There you go, let's see if he's going to come up. Yeah, he's not that big. Oh, he's still got a bit of kick on him. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh he's a bad one, that one. Yeah, he's pretty good. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Look at him go. You're lucky, fun. You're lucky. That's all right. You can't keep everything. Oh, so it's a bit more smaller this one. Yeah, a little bit above there. Yeah, I think it's coming up. Yeah. Really nice. Really nice size, that one. Yeah. Well, that's what happened last time, and he went yeah. into the drink. There you go. <laughs> so it's gone a bit dark for the lures. Didn't get any bites, so I'm going to be using these pilchards. We call them muleys here in WA, basically it's a sardine. They, hold, they round them up for bait. Gang of hooks, there's four hooks. Uh, I did this wrong, I've only got enough for three. Basically, we cast this out, bait cast, and slowly troll it, and the tailor will go for the tail bit. Hang on to it. If you hook up, it's great fun. Great, it's probably a bit dark for you to see what's going on. Here we go, a bit stocky. Here we go, let's get to the water there, lovely, lovely. It's actually quite a good one. Now I'm a bit challenged with my gear, because my rod is a bit, a bit short, so I managed to cast as far as I can, and all that textbook hook up right through the mouth, lovely shot. And he's definitely a keeper. It's all baited up. Lovely. No weight at all. It's called bait casting for a reason because you're just casting out your single bait. Water's nice and clean. It's beautiful. Absolutely great way to spend the night after a very hot day today when I was in the office. Absolute joy. Right, so this might be a bit challenging. I'll turn the camera off and wait for the hookup. You don't need to retrieve it fast, you just sort of need to slowly move it through the water. So then at night time that it is hard for them to see with the bait fish. And it's just sort of sitting mid-water. Looks like an injured fish. Oh, and I think I think I've been talking too much and I just got snagged on the bottom. Bugger! Bugger. Here he is. Yeah, there's a bit more that one. That's how you do it. Those hooks, I mean, they just look deadly to any fish. Um, <laughs> gang hooks on sardines or muleys. And you, we call them tailor. I think over in Europe or the US, they call them bluefish. And their teeth resemble the sharpness of a, of a, a tailor's scissors. Because they go for the they go for the end of the fish, they go for the tail, when it's injured, and they chop up and uh, have their dinner. Anyway, this one's going back, I think. Quickly measure them up. Yeah, this one's going back in the water. Let's live for another day. Okay, mate. Thanks for your fun. No, wrong way. That's it, get out of here. <laughs> oh, it's a big one too. Oh, and he just jumped out and he spat it. Oh, damn it. That's until I fight. get another fish. Oh, here you go, look at this. So absolutely bitten in half. They're definitely out there. One more for the show and we'll call it quits. Whoa. Whoa. As I said, that's what I wanted. This has got some curry or my drags on too loose. I don't know. 
<laughs> Love that sound. Yeah, it looks nice, Taylor. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. It's one for the night. Oh yeah. Lovely. Absolutely. Stonker of a tailor. Now I can sign off properly. Right. Working, yeah, it's working. There you go. Now I can sign off properly. Nice spot here at the Mate. Anyway, so I ran out of tape. I hope you had a great time. I did. And uh, you know what to do. If you liked it, subscribe, hit the like button, share it. And uh, we'll see you next time.